Welcome back. Welcome to today's Code at Home lesson. Today we are going to start a little bit differently than normal. Typically you go to Scratch and you create a blank project and we go from there. Today I want you to click a link. This link should either be in the video description below this video or maybe on the website that you came from. But look for this link. Once you click that it will take you to a project that I have already created for you. From here you need to be sure that you are signed in. So if your username shows up right here in the top right, that's great. If it does not, you need to click sign in and enter your username and password. Now, once you're all signed in, you will see your name up there and then you'll see this interesting remix button, this green button right here in the middle. I want you to go ahead and click remix. So what Remix does is it takes this project and it makes a copy of this project that is yours and then now you can edit this copy that belongs to you. So you just kind of stole my code, but that's all right because I gave it to you. So what we have here is we're going to tell a fairy tale today in Scratch. So we're going to use computer code to tell a story. So right now we have a fairy tale that's not done. It's kind of halfway done and we are going to go in and finish it up. But right now, when I press the green flag, we get some talking, some moving. None of it really makes sense at this moment. But we are going to fix that. So first thing I want you to do is make sure that you are in the correct brain. So as you scroll down here to the very bottom, you really have three characters in this story. Only one of them is visible to you right now because the other two are hiding. So I would like for you to click on the princess make sure that you are in the brain of the princess right here. Now, there's a lot of code floating around in her brain, but I want you to find the code that says when the green flag is clicked. So when the green flag is clicked, she makes sure she's at the right castle. She goes to a certain spot. She says she's bored. She's going to walk. Then right here, after she's done walking, what should happen is she should get scared by a frog. And that frog is kind of hiding out here and he is not showing on the screen. So here is something that we have never done before. We need the princess to let the frog know that it's time for him to show up, right? Because he almost like a secret message or she's going to send him a text message like, hey, it's time for you. Do your thing. In order to do that, we have used the say blocks before the say block is not a secret message. The say block is a word bubble everybody can see. What we need now is we want to go to events, which is the yellow. We want to scroll down until we see broadcast. So this broadcast block, now make sure we put it in the exact right spot because again, the code will do one of these blocks after another. And what I want is I want this broadcast block, of course I'm in the princess's brain, when the green flag is clicked, right before she gets scared. Because right before she gets scared, I want to tell the frog that it's time to appear. Now, when you drag that broadcast block out, you put it right before the yikes, there's a little drop down arrow. And what I want is I want to send a new secret message. So there are a couple other messages in there that I, I have already used in this program but it's time for a new secret message. So new message, and we can call this message whatever we want. So let's call this, you could, you could call it like message one, but I think that's boring. So let's call it froggy. So here's the weird thing. Now, right before she says yikes, she's gonna send a secret message called froggy. But when you run the program, it's a secret message, you won't even see it. It happened right before she said yikes. So it kind of happens behind the scene. But what's happening is everybody else in the program like hears that secret message. They hear the princess tell them froggy, right? Like she whispered in their ear or something. So the frog hears it, the prince hears it, the castle hears it, everybody hears it. And so we are gonna go tell people what to do when that happens. So make sure, pause me if you need to, make sure you've got your broadcast froggy right before her yikes. Now what we want is we want to go to the frog. Now the frog's brain is kind of complicated. He's got a lot of code going on. He has, when the green flag is clicked, basically he hides and he starts sticking his tongue out over and over and over again. That's his animation. 
Now, if you, you can scroll down with your mouse or you can grab the scroll bar. As you scroll down, he's got some code just floating around that's not attached to anything, and that's okay. What we want to do is we want to tell him right here, this one that starts with a pop, I want to come grab this block called when I receive. And hit your drop down. And I want to change this to froggy. So the princess kind of whispers the word froggy. And so then in the frog's brain, we'll say, okay, when he hears that secret message froggy, he's going to play sound, he's going to show up, he's going to wait a little bit, he's going to say a message. So here we go. Let's see if this happens. Press the green flag. Beautiful. Oh, look how cool that was. So we're halfway there. We got some stuff going on. So the princess sent this secret message. The frog heard that message and did his stuff. Make sure you've got that receive block there and that your code worked like that. They ended up in the woods. Now, take your mouse and let's come back to the princess. Now, this gets a little complicated because we're switching be between different people's brains, but that's all right. In the princess's brain, she, she whispered to the frog. He went and did his business. While he was doing his code, she said, yikes. She flew back to the top corner. She said, come back here. And then she walked back to the frog. Okay. Now, at the very end of that, so make sure you're in the correct spot, princess brain, when the green flag is clicked, at the very bottom of that, we need another message. So let's come back to events. We'll grab another broadcast. Now, I don't want to broadcast that secret message again because we're already done with that one. Let's go make a new message. And this new message, let's call this um, magic. Okay, so when her green flag is clicked, she does some stuff, sends a secret message, does more stuff, sends another secret message once she's said, come back here, gotten back to the frog. Here we go. Let's go back to the frog again. Now he also has, and we may have to use the scroll bar um, to get over to where we're going. If you don't have a horizontal scroll bar, if you click anywhere in just the blank white, click and hold your mouse and move your mouse while you're holding it. That'll let you move around, but make sure you're on the white part because if you click on code and start moving, it'll move the code. But I'm going to move here. So we've got all sorts of stuff. We've got his green flag. He knows what a magic spell is. We told him what to do when he heard the word froggy. And then over here, you have some code that's kind of just floating around, not attached to anything. And he's going to think he's really a prince. He's going to cast a magic spell and then he's going to broadcast. So let's do this. Let's grab another when I receive and let's tell him to do that when he receives the magic message. So lots of things going on. Basically the, the princess and the frog are passing notes back and forth to each other, right? So she, when the, as soon as things start off, she goes for a walk, she whispers to the frog, he goes and when, when she whispers this froggy message, that's when he will make a sound, show up, say, catch me, and they go to the woods. She moves on with her life. When he showed up, she got scared. She moved away. She said, come back here. She walked to the frog. Once she gets to the frog again, she sends this magic message. When he hears that magic secret message, he will talk, cast a magic spell. Hmm. Interesting. And if you want to see the code for the magic spell, it's up there. It's a little weird, but let's give it a run. Let's see if we can get all of this to happen one thing after another. So there she is. She goes for her walk. She says froggy. He does his business. She's scared. She goes away. Once she gets back to the frog again, she sends the magic message and the frog casts his magic spell. Now, 
there are lots of things going on there, lots of secret messages, but it's really just a timing issue so that you can almost play tag. Okay, now you do something, now you do something beautiful. Here's something that's really interesting. The frog, <laughs> look how cool that is. The frog already has a broadcast. He, once his magic spell is done, he sends a secret message called Prince. And in the prince's brain, he hears that. But here's something really interesting. If you go click on the backdrop over here, in the backdrop, so you'll notice the backdrop has some code that's kind of floating around here. We can actually have the backdrop respond to a message too. So let's go grab the when I receive and let's change this drop down to magic. Now this is really strange because the background will hear the magic message and do some things at the exact same time the frog is doing something. So now this is really bizarre. When the princess whispers the word magic, the frog will hear it and do some things and the background will hear it and do some things. So let's try this. And then when she gets to the frog again, she'll send her magic message. And look how beautiful that is. So the background hears it as well as the frog itself. So it's a great way to communicate to everything kind of behind the scenes and get all of your timing done correctly. So my challenge to you today, now that you have this beautiful program and it works like this, my challenge is go in and change the story a little bit. Possibly you will change what they say. So maybe that will change the entire story. Um, so change their speech bubbles. Maybe they're telling a joke. Maybe they're telling a different story. Also, extra credit, extra challenge. See if you can rig this up, make a new message so that something happens at the end. Maybe once it's all said and done, the prince runs away. Maybe the princess runs away. Maybe uh, the princess changes color, something like that. So if you can tack on an extra ending, something that would happen now. So that's your challenge for today. Play with those broadcast blocks and see if you can change your fairy tale and put your own personal spin on your fairy tale.